Hello! Welcome to another installment of Lucky Nine, the weird system I have for getting random items from online purveyors of gubbins, specifically Wish.com this time. So the idea is, I basically put lots of random words from a website into the search engine of said shop, Wish in this case, and just buy whatever comes up there's $5 or less that's first in the search options. Simple as that, except for the ninth item, which is basically something between 10 and $15 usually. Spend a little bit more on the last one. Treat yourself, why not? The weekend's coming up or something. Right, well, let's begin with today's first random word, just after I complain about something. So Wish are doing this really annoying thing now, where you see an item and it's very cheap, and it says limited uh, stock only, and you go to buy it and it says we'll email you like within 12 hours if you can get it for that price. And then they email you and say, oh, sorry, we only had one at that price and somebody else bought it. Anyway. All the credit is now back in your account. And you're like, oh great, so suddenly my cash has turned into store credit, has it? I don't know, I wasn't very impressed with that system, and it messed me up a couple of times on this one until I got used to how it worked. But fear not, we have enough items for a lucky nine, and that is the least important thing in the history of the world. First word today is pricey. Pricey. Yes, pricey as in expensive. And what could be more expensive than a lovely bit of jewellery, specifically fashion jewellery. Always seems to have that on it. It's gold coloured, by which I mean it's a bit of yellow metal, and it's a lovely heart necklace. Unfortunately, an anatomically correct heart necklace that also has a fair bit of the aorta sticking out. Come on, everyone, let's name the parts of the heart. Left ventricle, right ventricle, left atrium, right atrium, potato sack. Wait, that's not in a heart. Um, yeah, this is a bit unpleasant, this really, isn't it? A, a little bit too realistic. I can't imagine who would want to wear this round their neck on a regular basis. A uh, pathologist, a quirky pathologist from a 90s TV detective series? Maybe that's it. But I do know one thing for sure. I'm chucking that over there and I'm probably not going to think about it again. Fair. Fair. So I didn't really know what to expect from the word fair, but I don't think there's any way I could have expected a bag full of Tinkerbells. I know, right? So uh, I haven't opened this quite obviously, but it is a bag of one, two, three, four different decorations shaped like uh, Tinkerbell, the Disney character from... Uh, What's well, it? A Disney character from Peter Pan, but of course it was a J.M. Barry character beforehand, wasn't it? Really? Hmm. Mm. Ownership and all that. There we are. Look, she she sits on a leaf. I mean, sits. I mean, she lays on her front, and you can put the wings on her back. I would presume. Yes, there is a hole for exactly just that. And there we are. We have a reclining Tinker Bell. Look how not badly made she is. There's some weird paint slop going on. Oh no, that was just a bit of dirt or something. Um. It's all right, that, isn't it? It's not bad at all. And the fact that you get four of them for your money isn't that bad at all, I must say. Right, what else have we got? We've got reclining. We've got sitting on some weird petal thing. And, uh, oh dear, that goes that goes right up her bottom. That's that's not good. Imagine the wings are attached. Yay. Um, having a bit of a chuckle. <laughs> Either that, she's got really bad stomach pains. Or she's just in agony because she's got some stick on the top of a petal up her bum. But I mean, either of those things are feasible, aren't they? What else have we got? A sitting one. Oh, this one doesn't come with its own um, thing to sit on, so I'm going to assume you can just sit this on whatever you like. Like, I don't know. The concept of time. Uh, there we are. That's that's quite well done as well. Yeah, sit on the edge of your monitor if you particularly like Tinker Bells or whatever. And finally, oh, this one's got its own clear base. That's interesting. That's a departure. And uh, which hole in the foot is bigger than the other? Both the same size. So yeah, that goes on there. Ah, and she's standing on a precipice, looking down, contemplating her own eventual demise into the murky abyss below. Because that's what Peter Pan was all about. Dodgy bit of moulding on the side there. Can get rid of that, it'll be all right. These are quite nicely made. It's just half decent plastic, the paint's all right. Um, most, I mean, like the dress is a different uh, physical part to the skin stuff, so therefore it looks different because they're moulded out of different colours and all the lines are clean as a result. They're absolutely fine. These, these, 
genuinely quite interesting for the money if you should want exactly four Tinkerbells. And let's face it, most people will want 5.8, so you know, swings and roundabouts. Tiresome. Tiresome. What could be more tiresome than steering? You know, holding that wheel on your car and moving it around? Terrible. Well, don't worry, because we shall here <laughs> to save us from this incredible crushing tedium with car accessories. J1233, made in China. Yes. So the idea is you attach that to the steering wheel of your car, and then you can just hold this knob, which, uh, well, let's remove it from the packaging and demonstrate. See, that attaches, this spins, and then you can just go re 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 and sort of spin it, and it gives you more purchase on your steering wheel. I'm going to be honest, I personally think you should probably be keeping both your hands on your steering wheel. You know, like the man taught you when you learned to drive. But there you are. What can we discover on the back? Absolutely nothing. Brilliant. But I do love this. And I shall tell you for why, friends. Because, you see... This is the exact name of this item as it was listed when I bought it. <clears throat> Universal Steering Wheel Spinner Heavy Duty Car Truck Handle Suicide Power Knob. See, it all kind of makes sense until you get to the suicide part, doesn't it? I can't help feeling that's not entirely relevant to what this device is both made for and what people would use it for. <laughs> Next word. Wiggly. Wiggly. Ooh, I thought we were going to have some fun with wiggly. That's a very uh, kinetic word, isn't it? Ooh, wiggling, moving around. But all I got was this box. This jolly box. But what is it inside that could be wiggly? Oh! I've been got... I've been... Hang, hang on, we should have a sound effect for that. Wait for it. dun 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 There we are. That was worth the £8,000 I spent on that. Um, yeah. It's it's a hilarious prank box. You slide it up and whoop, your plastic rubbery, well, incredibly rubbery spider on a bit of metal comes out and sits on people's fingers, scaring the shit out of them. Lovely. Here's what the spider looks like up close. So interestingly, this came in two variants, basic and deluxe. I bought the high quality deluxe because it was within price range, but for a pound less, I could have had the basic model. How does it differ? Haven't got a bloody clue, didn't buy it, but this is the nicer one, apparently. I mean, it's just a cheap bits of uh, very thin wood box with a rubber spider in it, but it does the job. And I'm sure you could have many hilarious spider-based activations before it ran out. <laughs> you could have your own ITV show with that. Wary. Wary. What is there to be wary of that lurks outside? The answer, of course, is ninjas and people going skiing. And they are both combined in this ski mask ninja balaclava thing. I was absolutely heartbroken when this came up because I've previously owned one. I bought it um, as to use as a prop once, used it as a prop, gave it to a friend, and then what happened? This came up on Bloody Wish. It's exactly the same, I think, as the one I had. Literally a balaclava with a built-in, well, vaguely mesh mask. I mean, I suppose you could wear it. <sighs> really, you're just going to look like a maniac, aren't you? In fact, you're going to look specifically like this. I mean, it does have that kind of slightly ninjury feel to it. Slightly Mortal Kombat 2 feel. Um, the one where Reptile and Sub-Zero and Scorpion all had the very rigid plastic masks. Um, it's got a vague resemblance to that. But yeah, there we are. I mean, if you want to commit some crimes and look like a ninja, you could wear this and then people might not recognise you. There's a jolly thought. Or alternatively, you could wear it whilst going skiing. I think that's what it's made for. Oh, jump cut! Because it's time for a reminder that Patreon is now a thing that exists if you wish to financially support this channel in a direct fashion. Uh, you can get access to all sorts of exclusive videos that are now on there to watch some more. Watch a little bit more sofa stuff in your life. And also, there is the Audio Guff podcast where I talk to a person each month about things and stuff. Maybe occasionally I'll just be talking on my own. Oh, don't know, that bit hasn't happened yet. Anyway, if you are interested, it's at patreon.com forward slash ashens, and there are various audio files and exclusive videos and things all up there already for you to binge on if you should join. Anyway, that bit's over now. More random things. Show. Show. Now, I assumed this was going to be something to do with a TV show, and I was bloody right. 
it's a key ring thing. I'm going to open it in reverse and then you can see it fall out and be surprised. Plop! It's... Well, it's more than a key ring. Actually, this is a pendant, I think. You're supposed to put it around your neck. God knows why. But there it is. Central Perk. That's the coffee shop from the TV show Friends. Which is one of the very few things I know about the TV show Friends. Um, I, I think it's kind of the wrong colour, maybe. I'm not entirely sure on that. But yeah, you've got two mutant copy, coffee mugs. Copies of coffee mugs, there's a thought. A bit of steam coming out of them, or maybe they're brain worms, who can tell? And the Central Perk logo. Pfft, that seems an odd thing to me. Um, I mean, in the 90s, maybe school kids could have really enjoyed it or something, but um, in this day and age, I don't know. Um, if you're really getting into the repeats of Friends on Netflix, don't know why I called them repeats, it's a video on demand, but there you go. Um, you, you could have this and wear it around your neck and then people go, oh, some friends. And you'll say, yeah. Uh, sometimes I think it's a good thing we're doing this social isolation thing. Attractive. Attractive. Now, this is such a perfect description of the word attractive, because when I think of something attractive or beautiful or something I'm drawn to, I think of nothing more than a set of five Terminator endoskull tyre valve protector things. <clears throat> Decorate your wheel! Just the one. Easy install, only screws onto tyre valve stem. Only onto tyre valve stem. Try and screw onto anything else, instant death. From Feng Da. Go on then. What have we got? Tire valves. Decorate your wheel. This is the fancy valve. Decorated cap with four electrons. Now, I thought they looked a bit small. Which is made by metal material, which can, instead of the organal bad valve cap of the tyre, also show the beauty characteristic of the tyre. Yes. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep away from babies and children. So, well, there's one for each tyre and a spare, I imagine. Well, you put one in the spare in the back, I suppose. This is what they look like up close. True beauty. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Chrome Skull. Yeah, it's got a definite Terminator vibe, mostly because of the red eyes and the massive Chrome Skull. I mean, you don't get much more terminatory than that, really, do you? Unless Arnold Schwarzenegger comes in your house and kisses you goodnight. That's the most terminatory thing ever. Yeah, um, well, there's five of those. <sighs> Stick them on the heads of action figures. Um, throw them at people you dislike. Uh, put them in a mug and then remember not to swallow them. That's quite important. Yeah, well, um, have those in your car and then people will stop you and hilariously ask where Sarah Connor is and what fun you'll have. Again, I think possibly this social isolation thing is ultimately avoiding things like that, so can't be entirely... I've got to stop mentioning it. Got to stop mentioning because it it's going to age this video, isn't it, if we keep talking about <laughs> virus stuff. Quickly, next word. Wash. Wash. And... Indeed, Wish was a wash with washcloth holders. Well, you know, I thought I might get some soap or something, but no, it's definitely a washcloth holder. I can tell by the way it said washcloth holder when I bought it. Also, I can't seem to undo them. This is incredibly annoying. Where do you get into it? There we are. So, it's got an adhesive pad on the back, which is probably not strong enough to actually hold any sort of uh, particularly weighty towel, especially not a damp one. You attach it to a surface, and there we are. You can stick in your Terminator skull or perhaps, more relevantly, you can put in the end of a washcloth. I remember these from the uh, sort of late 70s, early 80s. We had a rack of them, although they connected via a... I think they were screwed into something as opposed to having sticky bits on the back. Um, but yeah, there's like a several in a row, and my mum put dishcloths in them and tea towels and things. What a time to be alive it was. Well, there we are. You could paint them a funny colour and use them as some kind of prop in a science fiction film also, maybe. But yeah, that, that amuses me more than it should, frankly. Oh, and incidentally, of course, you've got two for your money. Hooray! So none of this single washcloth for you. Oh no, you're a dual washcloth person, like all superior humans. Alarm. Alarm. Yep, the final of the Lucky Nines is Alarm. I don't know what I was expecting here, some sort of personal alarm or something, but no, it was an alarm clock, an LED mirror clock. Ooh, not, not much else on the box there, cranky. USB cable included, powered via USB then. Indoor temperature, ooh. Alarm and time, and many functions. And power consumption, the most useful of all functions. Oh, so much power around it, how can we get rid of it? I know, turn the alarm clock on. Right, let's have a look. Oop, yep, that's... Ah, yes, but very useful instructions there. 
Um, are they in English at any point? That would be good. Yes, there are. Is it good English or is it amusing English? Let's have a look. Mm, slightly off, but nothing amusing, really. Oh, that's a shame. I was having something quite funny, like the back of the uh, Terminator tyre caps there, but it ain't happening. So, oh, look, here's the reflections. You can see my nice PlayStation shirt. Hooray! Ooh, I'm wearing a hat! Right, um... Well, plug it in there. You've got a... Uh, is that just to remember the time, or will that power it? I don't know. I'm not going to waste a CR2032 for that, because, frankly... <laughs> <laughs> They're quite important things. You've got uh, holes for the noises to come out of to wake you up in the morning so you don't get the sack from your job that you can't go to at the moment because of the uh, social life. Ah, we're referencing it again. Um, dun, dun, dun. Well, that's all easy, isn't it? So, uh, I'm going to have to jump cut to having plugged this in. Ooh, blimey. Is that the time already? Um, this is actually much better looking. Ooh, 7.26. Is that supposed to be... What, what is that the date? And 23 degrees Celsius. Does it just keep flicking through those? Uh, apparently it might. Oh, well, that's exciting. Um, that's not the actual time, by the way. I couldn't be bothered to set it properly, because who cares? Um, yeah, I mean, this does the job, doesn't it? It's, it's an alarm clock. It's got a mirror. It keeps cycling through stuff in an annoying fashion. Um, you can probably change that with the mode, I would have thought. Let's hope so. Yes, there we are. Look, you can see the alarm and all that kind of stuff. That's good. Um, it actually looks better to the naked eye uh, than it does through the camera lens. It's got this sort of faded effect through the uh, lens there, but to the naked eye, it is a very solid block of red of each part of the digits there, so which is uh, not at all bad. Not at all bad. Well, I'm going to be honest, I don't think I would have spent as much on it as um, I would have done if I wasn't just buying things at random. But if you do want something to look a bit different and sit in your room and be very easily read, which can often be a useful thing, there you go. And also, you can plug it into your phone charger and then be not want to have to remove it from your phone charger to charge your phone because you're worried you haven't put a CR2032 battery in it and thus it will forget all the settings and you'll have to set it up again. I don't know. You could almost say that would be an alarming problem. <laughs> I apologise unreservedly for that joke.